is on the ultrasound image. So this is a longitudinal image. You kind of see it through his skin. Um, and All right. Hello, everyone. I know it's been so long since I've been on here, actually. It's probably been roughly, I would say, about two or three months since I've actually posted a video. So I've just been very busy with school and just personal life stuff. And I just wanted to come on here and tell everyone what I've learned the second semester. I think I made one right before the third or right before the second semester started. So um, this is going to be a little bit about my second semester and my experience. So it is finals week. Um, well, it's fine. I guess studies, finals, whatever. So this week we actually still have clinicals, but we are given about two and a half weeks or two weeks before the finals um, actually happen. So basically what we're doing now in class is just reviewing some things and that's pretty much what we've been doing for the last two weeks so next week is going to be another review week um but then next week friday is going to be my first actual exam for second semester which is going to be obstetrics so ob babies so we're, we are going to be doing that and the following week after that so i would say say i think the second week of may is our other two finals which is going to be vascular and abdomen so general but anyways let's go in depth more about how my semester two is going it's been going pretty well i will say that um, our clinical instructors or coordinators are keeping track of like the skills that we've been doing more rather than like last semester first semester they didn't really track as much just because we were only first semesters so second semesters obviously i've i would say i advanced um in my skills my scanning skills um i was very hesitant first i mean i shouldn't say i was very hesitant but um, obviously we are still in our learning stage, so I didn't really know as much, but now this semester they obviously expect more from you. So kind of scanning wise and putting everything together, for example, patient's history, um, patient's symptoms, patient's lab values, putting it all together and with your ultrasound findings and kind of just, I guess you can say like helping with the diagnosis. Um, you can obviously help with a, with the diagnosis, like state your opinions, but you cannot actually make the diagnosis. Another thing that we are getting more comfortable with, or at least I am, um, is presenting my cases to the physicians. So last semester is when I actually started like a couple of times and I was just so like afraid. It's just fear that really gets me and I just get nervous and once I get nervous I can't get anything out of my mouth. So yesterday I was actually with um, one of my CIs and she graduated a couple years ago so she, it was more fresh in her mind like how to be a student or kind of remembering how to be a student so she really uh, pushed me to present my cases and a lot of my cases yesterday were positive so I presented them and surprisingly I've I realized that I become more confident on my scanning skills, my the way I present things to physicians, and um, just really knowing the patient's history or medical history, which is something that you should be comfortable with while you're presenting, just because they do ask questions about things. So obviously, you want to make sure you're educated about your own patient. So it was really nice that I was able to do that yesterday and um, present that to physicians just because like I do get nervous when I have to come forward and present things to them or even when I do presentations. But I guess it's really been helping too is because my program, we really focus on giving presentations and stuff. I don't know about other programs, but I know we do uh, papers and presentations pretty often. I would say probably at least like three semesters. So been doing that been been presenting more which i think that's also boosted my confidence to kind of um, share my ideas or even be able to talk to physicians so that's a really good thing that's been coming along i also want to talk about a few of my classes and we have three classes plus our clinicals as i just mentioned and we have a review class 
The review class is kind of just mainly about what we learned about last semester. Uh, just asking questions about, oh, this patient has this, 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 like, what is it? Just always making sure it's on our mind and making sure that we remember things, which is, I, I, I believe there's a benefit to that just because you learn so much in a program, you kind of forget about what you learned last semester, you know? So I really appreciate the reviews just because, like I mentioned, I do forget about things a lot. If I don't continuously um, practice it or continuously learn about it, so it's really beneficial for us or any student, to be honest. So a little bit more in depth about the three classes I'm in. I'm in abdomen two because last semester we did abdomen once i'm in admin two as well as vascular two and ob so our babies so let's talk about a little bit of uh, abdomen two so abdomen two is mainly we kind of focus on three organs and they kind of go hand in hand in hand with each other we learn about the liver the anatomy the physiology the pathology of the liver as well as the biliary ducts and the pancreas and as i mentioned again they kind of all go together with the digestive system so we learned about that and it's been really fun you know learn things that you never even knew about the liver learn things that you never even knew about the pancreas biliary ducts i didn't even know about the biliary ducts in the very beginning um so it's nice to finally be educated about that and be able to put everything together like okay the liver pancreas this this and that they all work together to make sure um the body's functioning or the body is able to digest very well and uh, excreting out bile you know it's it's very important to know about those things um, because we do look at the liver pretty often i would say i actually look at liver abdomen and pancreas for the abdomen completes in clinicals or even when you do like a scanning protocol for a patient it's called abdomen complete and you kind of look at the whole abdomen so very important to know the anatomy body to make sure you are able to find the, the organs in the correct places obviously there is some um, you know sometimes the liver doesn't look the same as another patient or the pancreas you know it's just on based on everyone's anatomy so for vascular two, we learned more about the lower extremities. So we kind of learned about DVTs, deep venous thrombus, um, as well as some like other pathology like dissections, uh, pseudoaneurysm or aneurysm itself. Um, those are more like abdomen stuff. But the main thing that we kind of focused on was DVTs or uh, acute <laughs> acute venous thrombus. So we kind of learn about that and know how to differentiate between those two based on ultrasound imaging. So um, we learned about that a lot. And as well as there's just something called NIV. So it's like non-vas, non-imaging vascular studies. Don't use ultrasound imaging for them. You use like the probe, but you can use them just to get like a spectra of them. You kind of just have to listen to how the sound waves are. And I thought it was pretty cool. I personally really like vascular just cause I don't know. It gets straight to the point and that's just kind of how I like it. It's not when an in, in abdomen has um, a pathology, you can have some differentials between those for veins and deep for DVTs, it's just so straightforward. And that's what I kind of like about DVTs, or not DVTs, that's what I like about veins and vascularity or vascular, just because of that. But yeah, we learned about the LEVs, so lower extremity veins and LEAs, lower extremity arteries, as well as the NIV testings for both of those, the arteries and the veins. So that was really fun to do. And as well as um, abdomen vessels. So the mesenteric arteries is what we, just went over i just had my last exam for that so we learned about that as well like the celiac arteries the splenic arteries the hepatic arteries um the renal arteries and the ima so inferior mesenteric arteries which we don't really do much about that to be honest i haven't really even scanned a mesenteric artery but it's mainly if there is like some stenosis inside the arteries the inside the mesenteric arteries is when they kind of look at it so uh, usually when there's two or more vessels that's affected in the mesenteric arteries patients start to have symptoms so it's really a good idea to know um which arteries it's affecting all right so let's go to the last one we are going to be talking about um ob so i went in into ultrasound assuming that i was going to like ob and for just some reason i cannot grasp on it as much as i want to it was very stressful in the beginning just because I couldn't really understand the baby's anatomy when it's inside the mom's 
belly and it really bothered me a lot but I think eventually after a while I got a hang of it which is really good you know obviously it's important because I do want to take my boards for that so I need to become more competent in that area because I was not in the very beginning but there's a lot of information about OB especially when it's the first trimester you know you gotta you, you have to know like when the baby implants um when it starts I guess when it becomes a zygote and, like which week it goes with which week the baby's limbs or uh limbs grow and when the heart rate and just the size of it and how it matches with the it's just a lot of information for the first trimester so uh, it's just trying to remember all that and get a grasp on that but mainly overall the one thing that was really hard that i couldn't understand was like the baby's presentation i don't know why i just couldn't like visualize it in my brain and that's why i tend to do a lot when i'm learning about things it's just kind of like visualizing it and really doing it myself you know but for just some reason i couldn't do it in the very beginning now i'm starting to get hang of it but i haven't been in ob clinicals since the very beginning of the semester so i can't really say i know what i'm doing but let's see i'm in there in about two weeks um so let's see if i know what i'm doing overall it's been a journey you know there's a lot of i wouldn't say there's a lot of pathology but there's a lot of things that happen um in the first second trimester so it's really good to do and really good to be competent and knowledgeable about the baby's um, presentation inside the uterus just because if there's something different or like a baby's uh body or if there's any abnormalities you know you have to really take that step of being able to identify that and making sure the mom and the baby's getting the care that they deserve and that they need you know, you're because you're the one seeing it and you're the one who they're depending on for you to um, share this information with a doctor and physician and making sure. And that, that's what we've been really mainly focusing on is those three classes, including our review plus clinicals. So it's been a, a journey, been pretty fun. And one important thing that I want to say is that I think I've mentioned this before that because of COVID, COVID. COVID in the pandemic, we were online. I was just given the notice from my director that we are we are going to be given an option to be in person. And I think all of my classmates, we are 100% vaccinated now, or I should say 95% protected, but 100% vaccinated. Um, I got the Pfizer, got it in the beginning of January, so I was like fully vaccinated in the beginning of February. Overall, it's been really nice. I've been enjoying the program. I mean, just like any other program, it's not perfect. There's things that goes on that you don't obviously like want to happen or whatever, but I feel like I'm really progressing pretty well and learning a lot because I never knew how, okay, if you ask me questions about half these things or any of these things a year ago, like I would have never known anything. So, but yeah, overall, this is my experience and it's been pretty fun. And I'm hoping to add a little bit more content. I mean, it's going to be a little crazy in the summer just because we don't have a break. We just get right into third semester. So it kind of sucks that we don't have a little break, but we have a little bit of July 4th weekend off. After July 4th weekend, we do end up being full-time, being in clinicals full-time. So it would be in clinicals eight to five or eight to 4.30, Monday through Friday after July 4th. So obviously I'm going, going to be a little bit more busy. That being said, the classes I'm going to be taking this semester or in the summer is going to be I'm not really sure how it's going to be, but I know we have like three classes, but it's probably with less content and that's perfectly fine with me. But I feel like the summer is mainly focused on making sure that we are progressing as sonographers with our skating skills. So uh, obviously there's a lot of uh, skills that we need to cross off on in our booklet that we have. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and give you guys um, an update of how my life has been going and how my classes has been going. Yeah, so the semester's ending soon and we're going to be jumping right into third semester so hopefully i probably make another i'm not really sure what our classes are going to be um i do support everyone i do appreciate everyone's support and questions are definitely appreciated 
I love answering questions. So I do have my Instagram lower and lowered um, in the description box. I am pretty active on Instagram. So if you guys ever want to shoot me um, a message, I will definitely email you back or message you back. Um, I've had a few people who message me on Instagram and I just love answering questions personally. So if you have any questions, just feel free to message me and I will hit you guys up. Well, thanks for watching my video and hopefully you guys enjoyed my update. I know I haven't really been updating you guys very much or even sharing much about my program and my experience. I've just been so busy with life and school and so anyways, thanks for watching my video. Bye.